Hello friends, today we will see read file example. Uh, in this example, we will see that we will read file from one directory and we will just move that file to other directory. So in order to do that, what we will do is, first we will go to Spring Initializer and uh, we will just uh, download the Spring, uh, Spring Boot project. So we'll go here and I'll give the name of my project, it will be read file camel and I will select the Java version and I will add the dependency web just adding the camel and then uh, yeah that's it I'll just generate this one and I will save it to my folder. Now I'll go to Eclipse and uh, I will import that project. I'll go to existing brand project, will next. And I will go to my directory where I have saved the file. Yeah, this one. And I will just open it and we'll say that finish. So I have two uh, directories here, source and destination, and I will read this file and I will just put into this destination. Now we'll go to my uh, project and I will create one class file. So I'll say that class and I will give it name anything. I'll say that uh, read my file. I'll say finish. And in order to use, uh, in order to create the camel route, you have to extend this class uh, with route builder. And I will save it. Once you will just import the class, it will ask you to uh, add the unimplemented method. So here you will see that I got the configure method and here in, in this method, I can add my all uh, routes. Now I have created a separate class. So this is the Spring Boot project. So once I will run my project, so this is Spring Boot should know that uh, this class should also be loaded at that time. So I will add a uh, component annotation on that. Okay, now I, uh, everything is set. I'm going to uh, create the route. So in order to create the route, what you have to do, you have to start the things from the from, from keyword. So I'll say from, okay. now I'm going to use a uh, file, uh, camel file component. If you see the documentation of that, so what it is saying is that, uh, if you want to define the URI, it should be something like this. So it will be file, then colon, and you have to give the directory name. And then there will be multiple options that you can give. So what I will do is that I will uh, give here in the double quotation, I'll say file and then name of the directory. So the, the directory which I copied from the source side, I'll just paste that one. Okay. So this particular directory uh, will be read once this camel route will be started and whatever files are there in, in that uh, in that directory all will be read and all will be like moved to some other uh, other directory so i will we will see that uh, later on that if you want to move the particular file from this directory to any other directory how you can do that but for now you can see that uh, I have just put the path without the file name so that all the files, whatever are there in the directory will be moved to other one. So that's it. Now I'll go to the next command. So for next step in the camel, you have to put the dot and it will show you the multiple steps. So I'll just put the log statement and I'll say that, okay, uh, file has been, file has been read. Now I go to the third statement again, put the dot and uh, this is kind of destination where you are going to put. So in order to put any destination in the camel, you have to use the keyword two. So I'll say two 
and I have to put that file into the destination directory. So again, I will use the same thing. I will say file <coughs> and I will just copy the path and here will be my destination. So destination, okay. And I'll end the quote. Okay, now I can put one more log statement that uh, file has been moved. So uh, now my route is ready. Um, so what I'm doing is that I'm just reading this uh, directory for all the files and then I'm putting into this here, this uh, destination directory. Now see the camel like for in just one, uh, two lines of code, I'm just copying file from one directory to other directory. So that is a benefit of camel. If you uh, will write the code in Java, then like you have to write multiple lines of code to achieve this uh, file copy thing. Okay, now my camel route is ready. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to run this project. So good project. So what I will do, I'll just go here and say run, run configuration. And uh, I have given the read uh, things already, but it was not saved. So I'll say that uh, spring minus boot, and then I'll say run, and then apply, and run the project. Okay, so now what it's saying is that uh, the first log statement got executed, file has been read. So this is the one and then saying file has been moved so now we will just go to the directory what happened there <coughs> see my uh, source directory uh, file is not there and it is moved to destination directory so my route is already running and uh, that that route is continuously monitoring that file uh, for the for that particular directory so if i put any file in that directory it will actually uh, copy to the destination. So what I'll do, I'll just paste it one file and see here, this is just moved, okay. But here you see that uh, there is one folder which got created dot camel and inside that you will see that these backups are there. So uh, now you have seen that uh, this uh, file has been moved from one directory to other directory. Now the requirement is that if you want to read the particular file, then you, what you can do is that you can just use the uh, options here. So you will say that file name and then you can give that particular file. So uh, in my source directory, I will just put one file and let me stop the route and I'll go to the source directory and I will just create, uh, use this one. And I will say that my file one, okay. And then I'll put other file. Uh, I'll just copy once again. Okay, so I'll just delete the destination directly, delete. And I'll just delete this folder too. So now in source uh, directory, I have two files, file and then file one. So my requirement is to copy uh, file, my file, not my file one. Okay. So what I will do, I'll just give the particular file name. So here I will go file name is that my file dot CSV. Okay. I think that is the correct name. <laughs> yeah. So my file is there. Now I will run the route. You'll see that what will happen. I'll go here and I will run my project again. And I'll go to my source and destination folder. See, my only one file got moved. Uh, other file is uh, there in the in that source folder. Okay, so that is kind of file movement, but if you want to read the file and uh, you don't want to uh, move it, I mean, uh, you don't want to uh, delete that file from the source directory uh, and you just want to read that file and then put the content to the destination. So in that case, what you can do is there's one more option that you can use that is called 
<coughs> nope is equal to true. So if you read the documentation of this one, so what is saying that if it is true, the file is not moved or deleted in any way, this option is good for read-only data. So what I will do, I'll just say nope is equal to true. Okay, and we will see that what will happen. So I'll say nope is equal to true, and then I have added this one. Now again, I will go to the source directory, and uh, I'll just put this file, copy, and put it here. And I will release this camel. Oh, my route is already running, so I'll just stop this one. I'll copy this file, and uh, I'll paste it here, and I will delete this one. I have two files, uh, I'll delete this one also. I have two files and I will read only first file, but I don't want to move it from this directory to other. I don't want to move this. I mean, I don't want to delete this file from the source directory. So I've just put the noop option here, okay? Now let me run the project and see what will happen. See, my file got uh, copied here, but in the source directory, my file is already there. And you see also that this file is not being read again. So sometimes like it is a very useful option. Uh, uh, if you don't want to delete the file from the source directory, so you can use the <coughs> noop option. Okay. And uh, if you want to read the contents of file, you can just put here, Body. and you will see that what contents we have read here. So I will stop this one and I will read it again. Okay, so file copied and see here, uh, I see the log statement is printing the content of the file. So uh, for read file, uh, it just gave you the simple uh, uh, simple route that is reading from one directory and putting the file into the other directory. If you want to read the particular file, you can give the file option with file name. And if you don't want to uh, delete the file from the source directory, you can simply put the noop option and uh, it will not read the file. Uh, it will not delete the file from the source directory. And uh, to read the content of the file, you can simply put the body statement. And uh, two is a uh, destination where we are putting the file. And then again, we are putting the loud statement. So this was the this is the simple route for reading the file from one directory and then putting the file into the other directory. I hope you understood this. Uh, let me know uh, your questions. We will meet you in the next lecture and we will see some other camel functionality, camel components. So thanks for watching.